Hello everybody, so today's video we are getting the cubicles uh, ready for winter. Um, so I know the washing and disinfecting video um, has not long been out, um, but in reality that was filmed back in August. Um, it's only just come out just because that's the way things worked. Um, I said we would film getting ready for bringing the cows in, so that's what we're doing today. It is late September, um, we have had a bit of rain, but there's an awful lot more on the way. So we're just getting ready, probably straight away we'll just give them the option of staying in overnight. Um, depending on the weather, we may keep them in at night and let them out in the day. Um, we just don't know yet, but see what turns out. So we have started the process of preparing the cubicles. I said in the video we would, after we disinfected, um, we would let it dry out um, and then put down some disinfectant powder on the beds. Um, so you can see behind, hopefully, there's a pink dust on the beds. So um, I've done this side already. Um, I wasn't sure it was going to work out. I'm having some, some shoulder issues at the minute. I can't move that shoulder very well, so I wasn't sure if I could actually do this, but it's going okay. Now, I think the problem is I, I need a new bearing or something. Something's, something's gone wrong. Uh, so we'll go and do the other side. Um, it's probably going to take a bit longer than normal because I can't fill the bucket up uh, like I normally would. So, that's like I said, one side's done. Okay, so this is what we're using for the disinfectant powder. Um, ultra dry, I'm not sure if it's good, bad or indifferent or anything, any better than anything else. It's the only one we've used. Um, seem to get on all right with it. Uh, it's close, available locally, so that's what we use. Um, it has just, just started spitting the rain again, so it's not gonna get any drier. comes double bagged is what it looks like it's very pale pink very very fine powder um, and for disinfectant it actually smells delicious um, it smells like bubble gum which is quite a surprise actually when we first started using it um, but there we go that's what it looks like so it's easy just handful spread a handful on each cubicle um, kind of don't quite go halfway, or you know, just cover the back. A bit more than a third, but not quite a half. Um, there's no need to go to the front because you know we need to disinfect the part where the udder lies. You know, the front never gets wet. It's only the back um, that gets wet where the cows lie in. So we will. 25 kilo bag um, does half the shed. So each each half gets a bag. Um, it says on the says on the bag do it two to three times a week. Um, end of last winter, we put it around once a week, um, and it seemed to go all right. So we'll see how we're going. That's how we're going to start off this winter. Start off how we finished last year, um, one bag a week, and see how we get on. So let's get this spread round, and uh, then we'll get some get some of the bedding in. Okay, so there we go. Um, all, all cubicles have had their dusting. It's not an, not an exact measure for each cubicle. Um, we just kind of, like I said, we put 25 kilos up each side um, and that'll do. So next job is to um, get, some, get some bedding in. Um, now I briefly explained in the washing out video that we had changed at the end of last winter. So what we'll do, we'll go and take a look at the pile 
um, and get the loader, get the better bucket on the loader and give us a little sprinkling all over. That will be the final job. Um, take the gates away just to give the cows access because they've been shut out for all summer. Um, and then they can come and have a lie in comfort uh, and in a dry later on. Okay, so here it is. This is our pile of cubicle bedding. It looks actually a lot like grass seed, um, but it's definitely not. So what this is, um, it's a product or it's a byproduct of rape straw based horse bedding. And so basically, I think, this is a guess, and it's not a guess, it's trying to remember what we were told back in the spring or end of last winter. Um, I think what he does is he takes in uh, oilseed rape straw, bales, um, I think he hammer mills it, or he treats it, he, he processes it somehow, I think it's hammer milled, um, and then he passes it through a dust extractor. Um, the bigger bits get bagged up for horse bedding, um, and this is basically all the dust and the fine stuff that gets drawn off by the dust extraction process, um, basically the waste waste product of the horse bedding industry, or the horse bedding manufacturer. Um, so we then by this, obviously it, it is very dusty, that is its downside, it is very dusty when you're spreading it out. Um, when cows are lying on it, it's fine, it's just the actual uh, putting it on the bed in, putting it on the beds, it is a dusty job. Um, but you can't have something that is so absorbent as this is and not have a bit of dust in it. Um, so what we'll do, get the better bucket, um, spread some of this out, make a little um, we're watching it getting spread out. Um, I will probably put the camera somewhere and, and, and exit the shed. Um, it, is, it is quite dusty. So, but yeah, so that's what it is. It is oilseed rape straw based uh, cubicle bedding.
So there we go. There you are. You just saw a nice even bed all over. It just needs a sprinkle. Um, it's just there to keep the beds dry. We don't need, because of the mattresses, the mattress, the mattress provides the softness. Um, that dust just provides something to keep it dry. That's all it's really there for. Just something to scrape off twice a day. Um, so eventually it will build up a little bit at the front of the bed um, to scrape back as we clean off twice a day. Um, and here we are, because it's still raining, nearly milking time, they're all coming in. Looking for some grub, there's nothing there yet. We haven't, we haven't fed them yet for this afternoon. Um, they'll get that fed out at milking time. Come out to the silage and then they will have access to these beds overnight. So there we go, they are all milked. Um, that's my shoulder again. Uh, most of them are on the feed passage. It actually looks really dark in here because these cameras are pretty pretty rubbish in the low light. Um, it's lighter than it looks. So there's one or two having a little lie down. The gate is open, uh, but nobody's in a hurry to go out, I don't reckon. So that'll do for tonight. We'll leave them, leave them be.